Hello everyone, my name is Paul. I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa. We are an Autodesk reseller. Today in this video I'd like to have a look at the creation of specifications in the Autodesk Construction Cloud. What we can see is that uh, in a previous video we have created a workflow where we place some stage complete specification documents into our South African National Standards. It's just a team that I created, but yeah, we've got a stage complete documentation that's available over here that gives us a bit of information about the building standards that we have in South Africa. These documents are PDFs and each PDF that was uploaded is part of the standard. What you can see here is that we have part B, part C, part D. So what we would like to do <coughs> is to create the specification. We click on specifications. Now we do have the option at the beginning to uh, go to the settings and to view, for instance, the version sets and the permissions. Version sets you can create if you want. You can create a version set. So over here you can see that we've created a version set called SANS. If we click on view specifications there, we'll see that there's nothing there and we can add specifications from here or we can go through a different route and we can go by adding specifications and on adding specifications we can say from files or from our computer we're going from files and we can see that we want to go from publish specifications and from South African National Standards, A0, Stage Complete. And I'm going to include all these documents in there. Okay, then we upload. takes a little while to process. We'll return to this after the break. All right. So after they've uploaded, we go next to the version set. And we can choose an existing version set if we'd like. Go next to details. Specification format, we'll go with other or unknown. Project location is South Africa. We go next to the review process. Now, we could leave this open while we are constructing this, and we can also add documents while we are reviewing this specification. And ultimately, when we publish it, we'll lose the ability to review. But while it is in this review status, we will be able to, like we said, add documentation to the process. So, very useful while it stage of actually capturing the information. Of course, we've we've done an initial review process anyway, so it should be fine by this stage, but it is still there should one need to add information at the last moment if another document should um, be included within the review. Right, so here we can see that we've got all the documentation that we uploaded in sequence and we can now carry on and add some of the information. So let's see here we've got part A which might start over start that B okay part C Part D, public safety, and part E, and so forth. Okay, so the documentation is in sequence. And so we'd like to start with, this is general principles and requirements. On page one, there's part A, general principles and requirements. And then after that, we've got part B. 
Right, so let's start with part A. Can add the code that we can input over here, for instance. We could input that as ISO, ach, not ISO, uh, SANS. In part A, and then on the description, I'm just going to keep the same okay, and that is general principles and requirements. Part A, description, part A, general principles and requirements general principles and requirements okay start with that We'd like to end the page after part A begins in page number 5 of 5, there's page number 6, so page number 5. There's 6, there's 5. Once we've done that, we can add. So there's SANS part A, general principles and requirements, pages one through until five. Okay, and then we can go on for part B. see this might take some time first time you set it up okay and that goes from page six I just say a durable design it's not in a group and it's page six through to page seven, which we can see up there. Accept that and add. All right, so there we can see part A and part B. And then we'd have to go through the entire um, uh, specification like that. You can say save for later and save right, and over there we can see that we've got the saved specifications that we can edit later so we can obviously continue if we want and do part C and then we'd carry on doing that so whatever specifications you've got this is the method that we would use to to set that up and the nice thing is you can always add more pages later if you need while it is in the review part All right so we've got part a we've got part b there's part c we can add part c sans part c and the description 
rooms fit for purpose. Goes from eight through to thirteen. And we accept that and say add. And again we can save for later. Alright, and then let's just suppose that you'd done all of that. Then we can say okay, status, it's ready for review, so we can continue. And then after we've reviewed this document, we can then publish that. Alright, so the idea is that you include all the pages. And once you've added all the pages, I just for the sake of this blog added everything else to miscellaneous. You can actually publish these specifications, which then becomes available. Right, yeah, we can see the, the public uh, the specifications have been published. We go to the specifications. And over here we can see that we've got our different specifications that have been added over there. Right, so there's review, there's specifications. So obviously when we do our SAN specifications, we might go a lot deeper, deeper than this and create some um, some groups for these items and if we wanted to delete uh, the specifications from creation you can't delete them from here or if you edit them you can't get rid of them okay at best what you can do is you can go back to the publish log and from the publish log from the version center on there my apologies if you go to the settings to the version set, then you will be able to delete the entire specification from here. If you delete that there, then that will delete the specifications if you want to have another go. And maybe this time around when you create the SAN specification, you would then include them in the um, sub-categorization. Again, we can create the version set. I'm just going to call that uh, SANS issuance date today, uh, receive date I'm going to do, do today just for the sake of that. Go to the specifications, we can add the specifications and we can go through the process again but this time creating groups. We can choose uh, from files, I'm just going to upload a a few documents over here from our folder where we are looking for South African from A0 let's just do a few pages over there uh, let's do it like that and say upload we'll go next to the version set we can use an existing one go next to details other unknown South Africa next to review. We can call this then uh, S A N S. Right, so let's quickly create the first specification. We'll call that S A N S. Part A. Description, general requirements, general principles and requirements. And we would then create a group. Now there's no group yet. Start page, end page would be one, two, Three, four, five, five. We could say add. And create a group. Group call that sends. Description. Specification sections. 
we can add that and create. Now we can see that SANS general principles part A is put in there. We would then like to do part B. SANS part B, uh, durable design, A group, we can add it to SANS, start six, seven, ugh, let's just include everything after that. You get the idea basically that we go through to 29. Okay, and add, then we've got part one and part B, so for argument's sake, and then we publish those specifications, and then ultimately we'll end up with a specification for SANS, part A, part B, part C, etc. We just have to take the time to set that up, and then that'll be available for everybody online. If they want to look up a specification, they can look up the specification from there. Uh, go to specifications, and there we can see SANS, and you can collapse and expand that. So those are the South African National Standards, there's part A. If you click on part A, it opens part A, and there you have your specification. So I hope this helped you. It's been a little bit long, but I hope this helps you in future when you set up your specifications for everybody to follow. Until next time, enjoy the Autodesk Construction Cloud.